Yui Gravoso of the Monday edition. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Yui Gravoso from Bangkani Pedro Monday edition. May I request everyone to please stand and open their Bible on the book of John 16.33. Naanap na po ba? Let's read it all together. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Ang Diyos po ang magpala sa pagbasa ng kanyang salita. Pwede na po tayong umupo, marami salamat po. The title of my message today is, Will you still go on? Bad things can happen to good people. Hindi po dahil kristyano tayo, pwede na po nating sabihin na hindi na po tayo pwedeng dapuan ng problema. Natural lang po sa isang tao na magkaroon siya ng problema. No matter what is his status in life. Sabi nga po sa talata na ating binasa na ang mga Kristiyano ay magkakaroon ng tribulation. The real test of our Christian maturity is how we react to problems. But, but the question still remains to Christians. How can a true Christian react to problems? Meron po tayong tatlong po, puntos po. Point number one. Open, let's open our Bible in the book of Philippians 3.13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Point number one, don't nurse it. Some people never get away from their problem. They nurse it and it becomes their pet, making it the center of their lives. Hindi po natin namamalayan na sa kakaisip ng problema, nagiging sentro na po ng buhay natin to the point that we have ne neglected other family members, friends, and even our life. We may even buy books na inisip natin makakatulong sa problema. We have done everything but not the right thing. Ano po ba ang tama? Kalimut Isipin po natin na nangyari na ang problema, wala na po tayong magagawa. Ang magagawa na lang natin, humingi ng tulong sa Diyos at harapin ang problema ng sabay. Point number two. Let's open our Bible in Job 1.21. And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Point number two, don't curse it. Di po ba mga minamahal, pag nagkaroon ka ng problema, natural lang po sa isang tao na manisi ng iba. Pati po tayo mga Kristiyano, kahit sabihin natin Kristiyano tayo, hindi po natin, hindi po natin may iwasan na pati ang Diyos masisis natin. Tatanungin natin, God, bakit ako? We feel like shy shouting, why me? Bakit ako? Nag-church naman ako. Nagbibigay ako ng tights. Bakit ako? Bakit ako pa ang kailangan parusa na Diyos? We must always remember that we live in a sin-cursed world. Wala pong mangyayari kung kinukurse po natin ang problema. It will just make problems worse. Point number three. Let's open our Bible in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. But the God of all grace who had called us unto his internal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Point number three, do reverse it. We must not let the crisis control us. It may have destroyed the person, pero wag po natin nga hayaan na masira niya po tayo. Di po natin, wag po natin nga hayaan na ang demonyo ay magkaroon ng, ng two victories. We must trust God, for in God, nothing is impossible. Di po ba? As we close, will we still go on if there's a big problem in our life? Will we still go on if it blocks our way to success? 
Mga Kristiyano, ta- mga Kristiyano tayo, ano po ba ang dapat natin gagawin kung may problema? Tayo po ba ay iiwa- iwasan natin ang Panginoon at itatago ang ating nalalama, ang ating nararamdaman? Haharapin natin ang problema ng tayo lang? We must use problems as a stepping stone. Not gawin natin ang problema na stepping stone. Huwag po nating iisipin na ito ay isang isang harang lamang. Ito ang problema ay nagsisilbing isang stepping stone towards success. Hindi po natin namamalayan na na, 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 na dahil sa tulong ng Diyos, we have passed our problems. Let us all rise and let us all rise and bow our heads. Let's pray. Mga doon, samat po sa mensahe na ibinigay niyo sa akin. Kayo po ang gumabay sa amin sa mga problema. Sa pangalan